My final round here at 50 kilogram stage Mortimer, Brianna Gonzalez. Right now we have one to one criteria. Mortimer is third at the National Collegiate Championships for King University. There's a nice head to the inside shot by Gonzalez. This is the U20 division of the Women's Nationals, so on the line here is a world team spot at the U-20s, also known as juniors in the junior worlds. Mortimer leads one to zero, another step out, and that's gonna add an additional point for Mortimer. So now she leads two to zero with 2.13 to go in the first period. Mortimer's had a, a tough First run, but has survived it all. Mortimer, one of the best wrestlers in the country at 50 kilograms. There's a nice head chuck. Mortimer comes around, see if he, she can score a first offensive point. Has that underhook buried. Near the Audubon's headlock, out of bounds. And they're just gonna give four for that. So four point feet to back throw. If you're unfamiliar with the freestyle rules, feet to back, four points, just a traditional takedown with the two points. So right away, Sage Mortimer up six to zero. 115 to go in the first period here in the semifinals at 50 kilograms. And there's a shot, and we'll see if Gonzalez can convert. And she does, she gets on the board. So Brianna Gonzalez fires back with a two point takedown. So she cuts the lead to four. So it's now six to two. See if she can do anything from Parterre. Mortimer stymies any attempt, and they're gonna go back to their feet. Mortimer still has that four, six to two lead with 45 seconds to go in the first period. Mortimer has the underhook. She's been successful with that. Last time she was able to come out of it with a headlock near the out of bounds. And able to counter out and there. So there was two and two. Already a challenge brick has taken place. So they're gonna go out of bounds, but a challenge brick. Possibility of it being a technical superiority for Sage Mortimer. But we'll see what the challenge is. and the officials are going to convene and discuss what happened there. On the board right now, it's a technical superiority win for Sage Mortimer, but both wrestlers still on the mat. Officials gathering near the monitor to figure out what's gonna happen here, but we'll keep you apprised on what will happen next. Official still discussing this here. I think they're trying to look at the sequence of the takedown and then the and then the turn. 
possibility with the challenge brick that got thrown, maybe they were saying it might have been a slip, but not quite sure what they've discussed here. Is there discussion about the, the slip? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, oh, yeah, I have to. Yep. Do you want to? Yep. Okay, so that's what we have before now. Is okay. The I want to say that there was nothing to stop the throw. She's straight. It was the same momentum all the way through. All right. Okay. All right, so there is a challenge thrown. So... As expected, it was on the throw. So Sage Mortimer countered what the officials thought was a shot. So they're saying it was a slip throw. So they're going to take a look at this. And if, in fact, it is a slip throw, that means the score would remain 6-2 to two and they're going to be back on their feet and will continue to wrestle. If not, it will end as a technical superiority. Sage Mortimer would get an additional point because of the lost challenge, which really is inc inconsequential at this point because she has the technical superiority already. But we'll take a look and see what the officials say. Looks like they've come to a decision. So they did not overturn the call. Loss of challenge means an additional point for Sage Mortimer. So she is your winner. She will be wrestling in the 50 kilogram finals, best of three finals tomorrow to decide who goes to the U23 World Championships. on why